Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I'm happy to announce the return for season two, Movie Madness. And it is I, your boy, Joe Stones. Now, this second season is only able to be here right now because of one man. He's essentially a superhero, even though he's built like the freaking Hulk. He's been here before. Travis? Hi. Now, Travis, for people that didn't see the episode you were on the first time, who are you and what do you do? So my name is Travis Goff. I am a chiropractor, and uh, I run a small office in Cheryl, New York, which is the state's smallest city. And it's only one of three cities in Oneida County. That's true. Yep. There's only three actual cities in Oneida County, Rome, Utica, and Cheryl. And joining Travis and I are two of the most handsome fellas I've ever seen. Garrett and Casey! The Movie Madness dudes have made our triumph of return. Yes, because of this man. Because Tra- Travis is sponsoring this whole, the whole, whole season. entire season. This is happening because Travis is awesome. And so Travis is going to be guest starring on a, a few of the episodes. Yeah, as many as we can get him in here for. Ab- Absolutely, Garrett. Now, Garrett. What's up? Got a question for you. What's up? What the fuck are we doing today? Um, it's, it's, okay. Because so you, didn't, you I, didn't write it on the top, I, I, I didn't. Actually, you didn't write it on the top. Well, no, you just told me to write the movies <laughs> down. You didn't have the well, title. Okay, there. so here, here's the funny part. When I made these lists, right, I made 90s Action Part 1 and then 90s Action Part 2. And three so, and twelve so, and so seven. He did so when he when Travis came in the first time, we did the nineties action one, but he wanted to do the second list because the first list was there was too many on here that he didn't want to do. But now he can't escape it. <laughs> now he's here and we gotta do it. Right. So 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 it's here. So this is this is nineties action part two. Okay, nineties action part two. Who won part one? The nineties I don't point break. Remember. Was it Point Break? I don't remember. Honestly, that was yeah. That if was not on here. Was, yeah, that was, was over. It was over a year ago. It had to be Point Break. Yeah, without know, a doubt. So I'm guessing. Yeah. I'm surprised you didn't have Mission Impossible on the first list. Well, there was two, and when I when I, I had actually remade them, yeah. so I kind of split. Okay. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah. Like it was like the first one was way too awesome, and the second one was that like, makes sense. Uh, yeah. Like trying to figure out like the second half, so then I kind of. Sp- Right. I redid them and, and, and split them up. See, this is why I have you in the wide shot, Garrett, because you're using your hands and everything. It, yeah, it's fine. Good. Like, I have the wingspan of a freaking condor, so, like. <laughs> Do you want to start calling you condor? No, no. I'll call you condor. I'll change it. It's actually not right bad. It's not, it's not a bad nickname. I've had I worse. Mean, <laughs> so. I'm, I'm sure you have. <laughs> so, so um, let's. But, but, yeah, so starting off, we have executive decision versus payback. All right. Who wants who uh, wants to go? And and who be- wants to before start? we go, I am in injecting that we introduced with our Christmas episode. <laughs> and we called it a veto, but I I'm, I'm just going to go overrule. I'm actually going to look into getting a gavel for this because I am judge Joe when it comes to this. Casey you, came up with that. Judge Joe. I the thing is if you get a gavel, okay? It it can't be like a regular size gavel. It ha- either has to be very small or comically large. It's actually probably <laughs> going to be like a, the kid's toy of Molnir. Yeah. <laughs> That's going to be my gavel. We got to have like or literally can, the intro be made where it's like can you just you're get, in the courtroom of Judge Joe Stone. <laughs> can, can you just get the plastic one that squeaks when you hit it? Like a dog toy? Yeah. Like, well, I can do that. I was, <laughs> my kids used to have one that like you hit the button and it like went like made the lightning sound. Oh, that's cool. So I, I I might try to find that. So we have executive decision and payback. Do you, do you want to lead off since this is your season? I wrote down so. a few things on each movie, you know. So This man came prepared. He literally came with I, notes. He did homework. I did. Real Casey was even homework. Yeah. Casey wasn't even born when most of these movies yeah. were You're right. <laughs> no idea what's going on. Not so wrong. so can, for anybody who doesn't know, what's Executive Decision, Trav? Executive Decision was a 1996 film. It was rated R. Well, he's got yeah. ratings and he's dates. Got real oh. notes. I if if like it's PG-13, it's not, it's, not gonna, it's not going further. we got to have our films. Yeah. So, when terrorists hijack a plane traveling from Greece to Washington, we have 
Kurt Russell mm. is the uh, main star. And, you know, they join forces to bring a plane to safety. So the terrorists board the plane, claim that they hijacked the plane to force the U.S. military and to release their leader, who was captured by military forces. Meanwhile, I believe uh, the plane is carrying a bomb full of nerve gas scheduled to be released mm-hmm. over Washington, D.C. Right. Who, who's uh, Kurt Russell's co-star in this? I believe uh, Steven Seagal. And, How long does uh, he last in this movie? John Leguizamo. <laughs> John Leguizamo. John Leguizamo was fantastic, but there's there's a ton of like uh, uh, was, is it was it B D Wong I think was in it yes, as well. Yeah, there's yep. a shit ton of them. Um, there's a ton of guys. So the they Navy were all Seal well, team. They were all well known actors, but the two biggest ones at at the time were Carus and then. But the the very interesting part of this is when this movie was going to come out, Steven Seagal was plastered all over because he was still white hot at this time. And, and then he, thought he, was he the main literally star dies in the, first five in the first, like, like they as they're boarding the plane, right? Yeah. They're yeah. getting on the plane, and, like, everything's, that's where everything starts to go wrong. So he gets them on the plane, and then he gets locked out of it and then sucked out, and whoosh, he's, he's literally dead. He's the first person to die in the movie. Incredible. Well, that's probably so, good for the set, though, because yeah, uh, you know, he came on to set thinking he was the main star. Yeah. So, but it was it was crazy because it was it, it was one of the first movies where like one of the bigger yeah they promoted him. people like that. It was the same thing with um, Drew Barrymore and uh, Scream. G, yeah, Drew Barrymore yeah. and Scream in uh, uh, GI Joe uh, Retaliation. With Jane where Tatum. Channing Tatum was still plastered all over it, and yeah. then he died in the first action scene. Well, the reason for that is he uh, didn't even want to do the original G.I. Joe, but he had a deal with the studio where he had to do X amount of movies. So he eventually gave in and did that original G.I. Joe, and then they're like, well, you know, you have to do it for the sequel. He's like, I don't want to do it. They're like, so what if you're in like 20 minutes of it? And he's like, and they're like, and we're bringing The Rock in, and he's going to kind of replace you, but we're you got to be in it. And he's like, all right, but... you got to kill me off. Kill me off. <laughs> So, and then we have Payback, with, which is what, Garrett? Which is with Mel Gibson, which this movie, I feel like it's got better the older I got. This is something like When I, I first saw it, I was like, all right, it's a pretty good movie. But we're used to seeing, we were already used to seeing him in different, in different right. ways than we were used to seeing uh, like the Lethal brave Weapon. horror in the in the in the Mel Gibson or the Lethal in the Weapon. Lethal Weapon uh, type of Mel Gibson, and Payback was like he he was a bad guy, and yeah. he but he was getting back at the other bad guys because they right. they tried to kill him and leave him for dead. So it, then he tries to. Didn't he get shot in the back? Like, yeah, right? he gets yeah, real? and then yeah, and it's all so then it's it's him still being a ba- it's literally like bad guys versus bad guys. There right. is no good yeah, it was good like, guy in the movie. It was like his partner and his wife decided to turn on him and uh, like double yeah. cross him. Yeah, shot him in the back and left him for dead. Yeah, right. and then they were like, and then he survived. Yeah, so it, it's it's a pretty it's a pretty cool movie. Me personally, I'd still go executive decision over it. Okay, Casey. I hear, I hear Kurt Russell, and I'm like, all right. <laughs> all right. I was sold instantly. Trav, what would you have picked? I would have picked executive decision. All right, so that would have been across the board. Yeah. Which I'm glad that one for the for that. Don't have to veto that one. Yes. All right. So where what your veto. So, goes all, only not into the final, right? I you can't can go into the final four. Okay. So into the okay. So like the next round, either this round or the next round is when I am able to give my overrule, not right. my veto. All it's right, an overrule, Garrett. So now we have Leon, or Leon the or the professional, professional, or Leon the professional, or Leon, or like the different titles that's been called over the years. Correct. At first, it was just called the professional. Yes. Now it's now it's Leon. Now it's just known wh- all when over I was Leon the professional. When I was seven and watched it on HBO, it was the professional. It was the professional. Exactly. Yes, that's what it was called. And then um, and La Femme Makita, kind of similar styles of movie. Not so much similar like thing, but actually, like actually, let me. Um, you talk about. It. I want to see something real quick because I. Luke, these aren't. These aren't both Luke. Well, based on the, movies, are they? Talk about the movie, and I'm, okay. I'm looking though. Um, Leon is. You know, professional killer, and then takes twelve uh, year old, a twelve year old, played by way. Natalie Portman. Yeah, yep. play, you know, play, and then which this is oh. where my crush on Natalie Portman began. Right, like Until it was Star before Wars. she was Padme, before yeah. anything like it. Yeah, and then La Femme Makita is about a she's a 
it, correct me if I'm wrong, but she's the dr- she's a druggie, right? No, her father and, was the drug dealer and right. was moving for the um, uh, police department. I thought, and then it's like the CIA takes her or something yeah, like the, that. The and corrupt make, police it makes officers. Her into, like, they are both directed by Luke. So I that, see. Yeah, uh, uh, yes, I thought they were before you said that. That's what started. But that's why they have similar styles. Yeah, because, their okay. aesthetic is very similar. Yeah, but the um, DEA murdered her family, so he took her in. Right, was the right. Yeah, and then and then she becomes like a weapon. And, and so she learns the deadly trade. Yeah. So then she learns the deadly. So, so she's like essentially Black killers. Widow, Casey. Right. Yeah. No. Yeah. There, and there have been like there was a TV show in the early '90s that was a spinoff of it. Yeah. yeah. And then there was more recently. What they get like five seasons out of that show. And then there's so. another one in the early yeah. aughts that another TV show of it. Oh yeah, which well, I think Maggie was just, Q. Yeah, so it was called. I think it was just called Nikita. So good of a show. It was so. It was called such Nikita. Good, yeah, just just Nikita. So it's been such quite a good remake. Franchise. Yes. So um, of a show of the show version. Trav, of it too. You, you you lead us out. Where are we going? Are we okay. Going Leon the professional or La Femme Nikita? Who? Uh, we didn't even really discuss La Femme Nikita yet. Not that, you know? not so much. No, there's just no, let's, the overview. let's give a little overview on that one. Let's see here. So we have a convicted felon. Instead of going to jail, she's given a new identity and trained as a secret police assassin, controlled by the government. Her lonely life is warmed when she falls in love with a man who knows nothing of her mysterious past. So, I still go Leon. Yeah. Yeah. Or Leon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the professional. Yeah. It's it's just. Which one came out first? Uh, I could tell you, uh, 1990, La Femme Nikita, yeah, Nik- Nikita. and uh, Nikita came out first. Nikita, came out, yeah, yeah, and Leon came out in '94, so yeah. it was about four years apart there. Yeah, so I feel like maybe what he learned from Nikita, he kind of st- he kind of stepped up and perfected. Like, like as a I mean? franchise, like La Femme Nikita is great. Like, it's there's a lot more story to tell there, and you know they've told so many over the different versions of it. But there, for me personally, there's something. Even though, like, Natalie Portman's character is in love with Leon or whatever, like, th- there's that weird kind of. What I like over both of them that's not on, on the list was uh, Long Kiss Goodnight. You know, you have uh, the female assassin. Remember, she uh, gets injured. Was that? I think that was on the first list. Yeah, it was. Yeah, yeah, it was on the other list. Yeah. 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 So good. I, Such just, a good movie. There's just there's some nostalgia for me as a kid because I saw Leon before I saw La Femme Nikita. Yeah. So like I, like I under, I understand that. Uh, Casey, where are you going? Um, here's the thing. I haven't seen either of these movies, but I. Which one have you heard more about? That's that's where I was leaning, and and it's uh, the Natalie Portman, for yeah. the professional. Because I I think. Because you love Natalie Portman. I do love Natalie Portman. Um, I I don't do remember. Was that her? like one of her first roles? That was her uh, first. Role. Yeah, was I was gonna role. say because yeah. I thought I I've heard something about that before, yes. but. Yeah, no, I would I would lean toward that though. Now, did she star in anything after that, or was she really just put on the map during? Um, she was put on the map with for, the for Phantom Star Menace. Wars, yeah, but yeah. I yeah. don't know. If... It's like she was on that. She, I think she, she had to be in other stuff. Oh, I'm sure. Um, I'll tell you. Yeah. So, at, so now we're going to what, Garrett? I don't know. What's the Air Force One? Oh, Air Force One. F one, bro. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. Great flick. Air Force One versus Drop Zone. Okay, I feel like Drop Zone when when you talk about like the '90s Snipes movies doesn't get talked about enough. Drop Zone is awesome, and it was one of those movies that got to put um, it put like uh, skydiving like on the map, right. you know. But he had to he had to infiltrate skydivers. It was like it was slight. Like a slight bite from um, Point, Point Break. Break. Yeah, yeah I was you know gonna say I mean? it's reminding me of Point Break. You know, Break but it was only about. It was only about skydiving. Okay. You know what I mean? Like, it was strictly, it was, like, what they were doing. The, uh, um, but then Harrison Ford and Air Force One. Yeah. And like he's, he's, I was he's, say, he was, I, like, an I've ex-air marshal. Yeah, yeah. Him and his family just had to be, happened to be on the plane. You, like, I paired the two, yeah. Air One. Yeah. And it's yeah. like, you know, I'm not trying to crap on, on, on drop zone here, but it's freaking Air Force One. First right. off, if I was to even say Drop Zone over Air Force One, and my wife saw this, she wouldn't leave. You could me come you home. could veto that right out the gate. She she wouldn't even let me come home. Okay, but like Air Force One is it's it, Gary Oldman is the is the the bad guy in it. Okay, so first you have Gary right. Old bad guy Gary Oldman versus Harrison Ford as the president. It's just 
it's awesome. <laughs> okay, like it just Air Force One uh, is amazing. Air Force One is so good. Like the end of that movie, like yeah, it, and like Harrison Ford's the president, and you know, like he's not supposed to still be a badass, but he's still a badass. Yeah, Harrison Ford is. Harrison Ford. He's like, Har- yeah, he's just he's Harrison Ford. So I'm, really I'm guessing it's Air Force One. Guys. It's absolutely yeah, Air Force I, we're One. Both, yeah. yeah, we're yeah. It's like the, we were both going. It's like it's like yeah. okay, Drop Zone is awesome. You know, like the the scene. Okay, let me guys say though for Drop Zone, the scene where the shoots get messed up, right. and then the youngest kid, not it's like ends up I think taking the one that Snipes supposed to have, and then and then it doesn't open, and the way he screams on the way down is. Bones. That like stayed with me for a very long time. It reminds me, he's literally like screaming, where you forget you're oh, watching no. a movie, and like, but he's uh, he's in a dead spin, and it's uh, it, his shoot is only half open, it, and so he like bounces. Just just think, just Dude, think of it's Todd when he's terrible. Having, it's Todd when he has alone time with coffee. Yeah, it's. <laughs> it's, it, yeah, you know, if you have if you haven't seen it, even just try and like look up clips, and then you'll oh, see him how, how he's falling because he's kind of wrapped in it and it's half open, and it's it stick it'll stick with you. For, Is it shot yeah, there's just like some actual scenes in a movie shot, you're not it's shot like you know, the one on the way down, but then they shot they shoot him, you know, and they got him like the, you know. But is it like is it special effects or is are they actually filming skydivers? Oh, they're actually yeah. filming. Oh, oh yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah, right. it's, yeah it what had to be was, it had to be expensive to shoot because yeah. what was the it was, Charlie Sheen movie that dealt with skydiving? Um, wasn't that Navy SEALs? Didn't they do that? No, not Navy SEALs. I, he had was it skydiving or the one in the plane that was terminal velocity. Terminal, terminal velocity. velocity. Okay, yeah, 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 yeah. Which yeah. was alright. It was alright. Yeah, I wouldn't even. <laughs> it say was no. Right. It didn't make any of the lists. No, absolutely. I don't think. Yeah, I don't think no, it made any no, of the lists. Absolutely. It's no chase. No. Okay, it's no, not the no. chase. It's not no. the chase. Okay, <laughs> the chase is fantastic. It's okay. no hot shots. So it's no hot shots. <laughs> all right, so. Air Force One moves on. Then we have, which I'm kind of interested in where you guys go with this. All right. Broken, broken Arrow. arrow for, see, to right. me, though, this is easy. All right. You go ahead and start with Broken Garrett, Arrow. Garrett's sure? got a Broken Arrow. Yeah, yeah he's, he's. I do have a Broken Arrow. You do. Okay. It's. It's fan. It's just fantastic. What, okay. is, what, is, what is Broken Arrow? Broken Arrow is a, uh, uh, a John Woo directed movie. Okay. And it's. It starts off in... It's is John Travolta first. in this? Huh? Is, yes. John, is, is he the good guy or the bad guy? He starts... Well, he talks off. He's the, it's, Talk to it's the camera. Him, Talk it's to him the camera. And, the, and Christian Slater, and they're flying stealth bombers. And for some reason, even though it's a drill, this stealth bomber has nukes on it. And because <laughs> it's a John Woo movie, right? So then John Travolta turns bad... Tries to kill Christian Slater. Well, I don't think he work. turns bad. I think he was bad. The he whole was time. bad. And this isn't face off. Yeah. And then, <laughs> uh, <laughs> and then, uh, it's the whole movie is Christian Slater trying to stop him, is trying to stop John Travolta, and Howie Long, it is in one of his first roles, and he was great as uh, as the as like the bad guy sidekick. If this. they did a uh, the MCU in the '90s, Howie Long could have been Captain America. Absolutely. He had the look. And he had the everything. look, the size, yeah, everything. Absolutely. Firestorm. Yes. Firestorm, what I feel like was underrated. Yeah. It was a great movie. Focus, Garrett. Focus. I can't. We're, we're in Broken Arrow. We're. I'm. I'm just excited to be back on Movie Madness. Dude. I know. I know you <laughs> like, are. So, um, and it's great. And I can't again. remember her name, the actress, the park ranger. That, but she was. Uh, she was the princess in Mario Brothers. Okay. Oh, yeah. same same, uh, same actress. So the yeah. two of them team up, and then they're trying to stop um, uh, John Travolta from uh, Samantha S- Mathis. Samantha Mathis, thank you, from stealing the nukes. And it's just great. the The music is great throughout the action. It's just a, it's it's all over. The movie is fantastic. It right. definitely sounds um, like a John Woo movie. It's Travis, such right. a John Woo movie. Travis. It's, got, it's got the dogs. I, what's your racer, Travis? Dude. What's so, your racer? It's a it's a Schwarzenegger film, and he is a Patrick um, or Arnold. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be Arnold, and uh, he's he's a um, he's a U.S. Marshal, and he's uh, he takes families really? uh, who've um, testified, and he will erase their past and give them new identities. And so he keeps everything top secret. Obviously, he works with the team at the U- in the U.S. Marshal's office. And his um, uh, superior 
is going rogue. And they're trying to uh, nix one of the identities he's uh, going uh, to um, protect. And it, 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 it introduces the um, rail gun the for rail? the first time. That's, that's, right. That was just, be, yeah. But let's be honest. The rail gun was the best part of the movie. It was. Okay. <laughs> the way I, I think fires. there was a scene in there with an alligator at one point. Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So. And, like, they literally made... Perfect. Remember the game Perfect Dark? Like yeah. they literally added that into that game because of this right. movie. Right. Well, not to get too far off topic, when the movie Predator came out, they had Predator Vision. Right. Yes. And the U.S. military got interested in that and actually developed Predator Vision. Right. right. Yeah. There have been That's so crazy. many. There have been so many things that like you think people, about that. Well, yeah. People like writers, you know, movie guys have made that the military is like, hmm. I forgot. I, well, I it guys. was like a thermal imaging camera, yeah. but like when it's like 98 degrees in the jungle, everything's 98 degrees, right. so you're not going to get a, right. a signature. So they needed to have that, uh, you know, predator wow. vision. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. Yeah. yeah. Now, Casey, have you seen either of these? Uh, no. <laughs> okay. no uh, they're both great movies. I, uh, this one's yeah. a little, little more difficult uh, right out of the gate to figure out which one's a little bit better, which one's a little worse. Um, I'm going to vote first. Oh, he's taking control. I, I, I'm going to go against the grain here, and uh, at least for me, like Arnold always wins, but I'm going to go Broken Arrow on this one. I'm oh. throwing the road curveball out there. It's I'm, and, I'm and in the middle with this one here because on one end, I, Garrett's like Broken Arrow, but on the other end, I'm hearing Railgun. I'm hearing all like, – Yeah, but if you uh, saw – And they, and they had former, former Miss America in there too, right? Yeah. yeah she was the, the Vanessa, co-star. Uh, Vanessa yeah, Williams. Vanessa yeah. Williams was the one that, that – uh, so uh, here, here's the uh, thing. The Broken point, Arrow yeah. is a better movie. I like. There's no, there's no doubt about it. But which movie is more fun to watch? Uh, Eraser. Eraser is more fun to watch. Yeah. It, it, this one. Oh, I think he's. Uh, <laughs> what? He just. I think he's what? looking to challenge that. What? Oh. You, you know I can overturn things, Garrett. Oh no. But I'm not using it here. Yeah. I wouldn't yet. I, I, no, there's... If I had to say a movie's plot was better, it was Broken Arrow. Oh, 100%. 100%. 100%. Now we move oh, to... What? You, all the things you yell at me for and you do this? What is Assassins it? Assassins versus, Desperado. versus Desperado. I Are am, you kidding me? I am going to talk... You talk about Desperado. Oh, okay. <laughs> this was this was Buckle up. Initial, Antonio his, his breakout role. <laughs> okay. Here's, what's Desperado, Garrett? Here's what's here's the millions of great things that are uh, about Desperado. Okay, Desperado was the sequel to El Mariachi. El Mariachi, shot by Robert Rodriguez, who who also directed Desperado. Yeah. These, these were the movies that made Robert Rodriguez. Okay. His career. Oh no, I, I know about Desperado. Was, yeah, the El Mariachi. You you have to at least watch it once. Okay, it's all right. Okay, but the the greatest part about it is they were so broke. Everything was. And they had such little film. Everything was one shot. Yep. Not not like a single shot throughout the movie. But every time that they did a shot, that was the shot that they used for the movie. It was, That's all they had. It was like when wow. we shoot our, our, okay. our things. Yeah, for, it's like when we shoot our yeah. fandom. It's like we, we got to do it quick. We got to do it fast. We got to move on. Okay. Uh, and then, oddly, the guy who actually played El Mariachi, the same character that Antonio Banderas. Antonio Banderas plays, is actually one of the uh, the friends that he calls... Uh, in the movie when he's to to show up. And then Selma Hayek is in the movie. Yeah. Okay. So Th- this like, was the movie that like, started okay, my 30 a, year obsession okay. with some like I'm Assassin's contemplating going great. to see Magic Mike 3 just to see Selma Hayek. Yeah. In yeah. It. It, 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 oh it, my god. You don't need an excuse to watch Magic Mike. I've never it, seen like like, <laughs> like, 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 like like you're going to have an excuse. Like real, I've never seen either real of them. Real talk. I never I've never seen either one of them and the commercial came on. And, you know, Maria's like, oh, I bet you you won't take me to see that. I go, Selma Hayek's in it. I will buy the tickets I now. think Selma <laughs> Hayek was the nurse in the faculty. She was the nurse yes. in the faculty. Yeah. And, like, she's one of those. Like, she's like Jennifer Aniston. Like, Can you imagine going to high school and having a nurse gets, like that? Oh, my God. <laughs> I'd, I'd be, be sick, sick every day. day. Yeah. Every day. Yeah. Every day. I'd be like, I would have been like, Joe, punch me. Well, well, I have to go to the nurse. Punch me. Like, be like, punch like, me in the balls. Yeah. She has to, like... <laughs> 
But she's one of those people that the older she gets, uh, the she first, gets hotter the, and uh, hotter. Dust till dawn. Oh dance. my god! Unbelievable. Let, yeah. let me just oh. say. Uh, a very young Joe that was discovering himself oh. may have used that VHS over and over. Because now, for those of you that's, who don't, that spot's worn out on that VHS. <laughs> let, yeah. let me, let me just tracking no so longer works. Yeah, the tracking like, doesn't work. So, Casey, a VHS. I, was, I know how a VHS works. So I know it, it was this block. I'm not that, that young. Had, yeah, you, you are. Know. Used to go to a store to rent VHS <laughs> tapes. Place, there used to be a store called Blockbuster. I, mean, no. I yeah, but, no, the, what, no, but the, just, he probably just, he probably got the DVD. So you, you do I know still have DVDs, my blockbuster right? card. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> He's like, wait, wait. There was something before DVDs. So, so Trav, what's this, what's uh, Assassins? Assassins was such an underrated movie of its time. Really, it had really it like, had so uh, everything you'd want. It's Sylvester Stallone. I did not have everything uh, I want. Some high X not. Yeah, some, some high X not. <laughs> and uh, Antonio uh, Abanderas. Um, so. You know, uh, you have two assassins, and you have one assassin that shows up to make an assassination, and an assassin there was another assassin, assassin that was already the there, took out his spot, and then he wants to be the number one's the number one assassin. The other guy wants to be Sylvester the number one Stallone's assassin. The number one assassin. Yes. Yeah, Sylvester because Stallone's the number one assassin. He was played uh, Robert Rath. Yeah, Robert Rath. Yeah, and and then you have Antonio Banderas who who plays um, Miguel Bain, right? Yeah. Is that right? Yeah, yes. Miguel Bain. Yeah. So Miguel Bain, Miguel Bain wants to be number one, but he can only be number one if he kills the number, number one. one guy. Yeah. And the movie takes out. It's just it's unbelievable, action packed. And he had this gun. Like remember that the gun that uh, Antonio Banderas had. Like I'm like when I get older, I'm gonna buy that fucking gun. Like that thing is so cool. Did you? I was like I do. I have it. <laughs> He's like I did. I have it. I, I do. <laughs> I, I bought that. <laughs> it's uh. It, it's it. It really is awesome, and uh, his acting, uh, Banderas' acting in it was fantastic because he was so cool and calm. And it was watching until uh, until Stallone gets under his skin. Yeah, you apply pressure to him. And then he unravels. You know what yes. I mean? Like even like he try he sits in the hot bell tower there all was the day. Bank it, it's, day. Garrett, it, like, it's Garrett when the computer's not working. Yes, right. yeah, it's right. exactly. Yeah. It's exactly it. Like he 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 he, man, he holds the gun and still looks in the thing even though he pees into like a bottle. You have like, one hunter hunting another hunter, and he's got to look him in the eyes. So he goes in and sits in a bank all day. Yeah, the whole that, day waiting for what like wait, ten million dollar withdrawal. Yeah. yeah, like the thing about that movie too is that is one of the first movies I can remember watching that you actually feel the tension you not, feel the and tension. not even like horror yeah. movie tension like you know something like it's like what's gonna happen but it's what what you don't know what's yeah. gonna happen where horror movies you kind of have an idea like you're like who, who like there's points where you don't know if who's gonna come out on top right yeah and but like not necessarily do you like even if you're two three ten or whatever you don't have to take out number one to be number one. Yeah, right. And you know, but this is his. This is his. Bane un- unravel. He, yeah, he was. He was a little psychotic, and you watch him just unravel in the film. And it was. It. it I. I must have watched that twenty times yeah. in a month when that yeah. came out. When it was on so, HBO. Tra- so, yeah. HBO safe to say you're going assassins on uh, this. I don't know. I'm going to vote last this time. All right, Casey, you can lead us off. <laughs> have you seen these? I've seen uh, parts of Desperado. Not. I've not seen anything about assassins. Um. Add it to his list. It's so, got about 100 movies on it right now. That being said, uh, even though I have seen parts of Desperado, uh, knowing it's Robert Re- Rodriguez, as a stepping stone for him to the movies he ended up making, which he's made some of my like childhood movies with the uh, I think it was when Spy he started Kids? doing Spy Kids and uh, Shark Boy and Lava Girl when I was like seven years old was like my shit. So um, yeah, I'd go Desperado. Desperado. Yeah. yeah. This this Gee, is th- like yeah. it's kind of like when a band comes out with like the, it's three dollar bill, y'all. Yeah, it is it, three dollar like, bill. It, like the big hit, and yeah. the, it's the thing. Even if it's their, not their first album, it's the one that puts them on the map, and then they can't top it. Right. This is that. Desperado was that. He Desperado was his movie. And that now, was now his, he's directing Star Wars stuff. Right? Yeah. And like, don't his, get me wrong. Once Upon a Time film. in Mexico is a is a good movie. Yeah. Like, but Desperado is 
Desperado. Like, so you're going Desperado? We have oh, to, yeah. So, Travis, Over, what would I, you have I, gone? I would have picked Assassin. I, I figured that. I figured yeah. that. Um, yeah, it's Desperado is, it's just. Desperado is Desperado. It, it's Desperado. Desperado is just legendary. Yeah. So what do we have now, Garrett? Is that Beverly Hills Cop 3? It is yes. Beverly Hills Versus Cop die hard 3. Two. I, Versus so Die Gar- Hard 2? So Garrett's picking Die Hard 2. I'm, just, die hard I'm, I'm letting you guys know that now. Now, if we were talking Beverly Hills Cop 2, two. versus Die Hard 2, That's we hard. would have a much harder discussion. That, yeah, well, 100%. We'd have a much harder so, discussion. Trev, because I have you a, lead this one. I, I have a this big one's thing. tough. So we all know what happens in Die Hard 1. Two. Right, and we've talked about Die, die Hard. Who's been on? Like which on length? Even when Die Hard's even on the list, we talk about yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> so <laughs> now so it's talked about every time. Yeah. Yeah. Now imagine, imagine time. it happens at an airport. Ah, right? uh, yeah. Uh, ah, yes. And they're gonna crash all these planes if you know, and he's got to foil the plot. And so, and, and I like the fact. My big thing about what I like about Die Hard too is it's not him like stuck somewhere with and like he's by himself he has other police resources he like has yeah. military allies and it's him more he, figuring out the plot of yeah. what's going on like that plane scene when he tries to stop that plane he's so out there good. with the flares and everything. like he cries do, like yeah Flash. like, like it, he cries like, you know what I mean? Like, because the because he just watched an entire plane full of innocent people just smash into the ground and, like he cries. And like, it's you never like, the thing. I think so that happens with Die Hard Two a lot for me personally. And like, what I see out there is it, it's a fantastic movie. It's a fantastic follow up to the original, but it gets overshadowed by Die Hard with a because it's sa- it's sandwiched in between one, one and three, three, which are the best two, and, and like and it just. Like, I, I love that. But who would have thought show. 3 would have been what 3 right. was? Yeah, and it was already going good until you find out that the bad guy is, was is what the he brother. Was. You yeah. know, like so it's like uh then it kind of kind of notches up a little bit. Right. And Sam Jackson is is such a good um uh, of of the the sidekicks that he has throughout the throughout the movies. Like h- him, you know, him and Reggie I think are like the, That's yeah. still that which, that's still my favorite. Which Die Hard is the one with uh Justin Long. That's the fourth that's one. That's the fourth one. Oh okay. All right. I, I like okay. that one a lot. I like that's that one. Okay. I see I like it's got Kevin Smith in it. Yeah. I like yeah. It. It, it was and right. it deals with technology and everything like yeah. I, I thought it was a, a great follow up to the third one. But so you're going Die Hard. I'm going Die Hard. We didn't even talk about Beverly Hills Cop 3. Well, yeah, but it, because it's Beverly Hills Cop three, it, we, I mean, we don't even need to discuss it. It's, it's Beverly Hills it, Cop in Disney World. If, if, yeah. if it was, if it was, uh, if it was uh, Wonder World, two? right? It was yeah. a Wonder, yeah. Wonder World. Yeah, uh, yeah, well, yeah. So it was something. Wonder World. They, Wonder his World, boss, Wonderland. Some... Yeah, his boss gets murdered. He's got to go back out. He's got to, like, like, you know, he's gonna. Wally, was it Wally World? Wonder World. Wonder, 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 it was yeah. Wonder World. Like, it was, was it? Yeah. Not like it was. It's like staged in a theme park. It was a cash grab, yeah. is what it was. Yeah, yeah. like Wally it, World. That's uh, Walmart. Christmas. Uh, uh, that's uh, national, yeah, national, national, national vacation. vacation. Yeah. That's why. I'm, yeah. That's why. I'm, uh, that's yeah. why I'm, like, if if we were talking one and two of Beverly Hills Cop, this would be a much harder, deeper going in discussion. But three is easily like yeah, it's, it's, it's forgettable. Can, it's it's Die Hard. Too. I can't wait for four. H- hands yeah, down. four is coming. Hands down. So yeah, we'll see. It is. We'll isn't see. It? Yeah, four is like, coming. They finished filming it, didn't yeah. they? Yeah. So we'll see. Um, uh, I think it's safe to say Die Hard 2. Yeah, Die Hard 2. Yeah. No, it's no, no. Yeah, it's, you, die, mm-hmm. it's Die Hard Unanimous. 2. Unanimous. Yep. Um, it's, it's definitely Die So uh, what's this other one here, Joe? We'll the see. Oh, for. Out for Justice. Out for Justice. Out for justice. Ooh, I am a okay, huge Seagal there, fan. So here, here's the thing, right? <laughs> you Seagal, Seagal comes out. He's white hot, right, when he does. And he makes a ton of action films. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And he's still making like a decent amount of films, but like in the '90s were all the best ones that he made. And you, even then, yeah, it was a you had a higher, law, you had Alfred Justice, yeah. Marked for Death, or, yeah. you had higher Under tiers Siege. and you had lower tiers. And and Marked for Death, Out for Justice, and Under Siege were the, the they were the top tier of all of those movies. Oh, I think Exit you know Wounds I mean? had the biggest budget. Exit Wounds did have the biggest budget, but that's because. Um, DMX was That's in That's when DMX was yeah. in, right? What's the what's the one with oh Glimmerman? Yeah. With, Glimmerman uh, was great. Glimmerman yeah. was a good movie too. Um now tra- so Trev, what's Ronin? Ronin, um now this is a this is a movie with Robert De Niro. 
and they put to key, they put together a team of experts, and it's basically stealing a valuable briefcase, which you know nobody knows what's in it. It's kind of a mystery. Kind of like Pulp Fiction. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So this international team, an ex intelligence officer and others, and you know as their operations underway, several team members are found to be untrustworthy, and so. Nobody knows who's going to double cross who, so you get incredible amount of suspense watching this because we're partners, we're partners, but they could be out to get me. So uh, now I've got to be so let guards you right way now, up. Casey is out to get you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Casey's out to get me. I didn't do anything. <laughs> um, who would start us off? Oof. I say Garrett goes last. <laughs> uh, is anybody? Does nobody going to quote this movie at all? I feel like you're about to. <laughs> I'll wait. Does anybody know why Richie did Bobby Lupo? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> Do we still know? Where's Bobby Lupo. Where's Richie? Um, Garrett. God. Okay. William Forsyth is such a good bad guy. Mm-hmm. And in Out for Justice. It's that it's ridiculous. Like he's one of those guys, right? Where he's so he's so annoyingly bad. You can't. Is that the wind. Yeah. It is the wind. I could feel it coming through the wall. Yeah, That's yeah. Wild. You, you can't wait for him to die. Yeah. Like, you know um, what I a mean? lady honks the horn in traffic, and he gets out and wastes her right there. Yeah. You know, like he's he's. And we all want to do that, though. Yeah. He's, I mean, let's admit, like some terrible. of us want to do that. You know what I mean? Like, but he's so good at it. And then you see him in other movies, and he's just like, you see him in movies like. Um, Deuce Bigelow. Right. It's thin. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's not, it's not small. It's thin. Um, okay. Obviously, Out for Justice has, like, the lower, like, budget. Lower budget, for sure. And that, like, not better story, but it has, like, the more action. I mean, do we, it, like, it, go these with, like, two, These all? two movies, like, to get marked together are, are hard because it's, like, they're I feel like the the easy, I was kind of going for the easier that. watch is out for justice. Oh yeah, absolutely. Okay, because Ronan, you actually do get more. You got to pay attention. You got to pay attention. You got to you you're the whole time you're trying to figure out who's with who, who's trying to double cross who is some is somebody uh, uh, an agent is somebody you know a black market is somebody you're trying to figure out who is who the whole time throughout the movie. So. It depends on how well, we have you to remember move. this. This isn't about what's a better movie. It's about personal preference. That's what, per, we're vo- personal, well, what you prefer. Better. Personally, I've seen um, I've only ever seen that movie once or twice. But Out for Justice, I've seen probably 100 times now. It's always on like TBS and, you yeah. know, and then I also factor in all of other Seagal's movies. Right. Because the heart, I, the first the biggest thing I think of when trying to put one movie over the other here is like. My gut instinct is is like is out it? for justice. Right. Okay, okay, but it feels wrong. Plot, yeah, it, it feels just... wrong to put Steven Skull <laughs> <laughs> over Robert, Robert De, Niro. De Niro. Yeah, but like that's that's how the cookie crumbles sometimes. And you know what, what I mean? Because it's, it's not, it's, it's, it's it's not, not one of his show. best movies. Let's let, let's be honest. It might be it's one of my movie. favorites, but, but yeah. it's not you, you his best. Think, th- this was the whole reason why we created this show because it we're not it's we're not doing a film study. Where like what what do we like better? Like some of the highest grossing movies of all times aren't necessarily well shot. Yeah, you know, how many not films. amazing. You know how many films, things right. I want to watch over Avatar? Pretty much everything. Yeah. <laughs> oh, know? absolutely. Like, yeah. Right, but yeah. Not that I want to toot anybody's horn, but like when you Pretty Woman was horn, written big boy. and Disney did that movie, Pretty Woman was just like right. you know it went through the entire country. Like right. mm-hmm. it was um, exponential. Oh, one hundred percent. So are we going out for justice? I, I want to go f- out for justice. Yeah, I think it's... You know, I mean, Casey, what are you here's, going? Here's my thing. So, like, Imagine yourself as a police officer and somebody nicks as your partner. Yeah. You want to do what he did. Right. You're going to go all over the city looking for somebody. Yeah. I haven't seen Out for Justice. What I will say, what I will say here is, uh, I don't know if you've been keeping up with what Seagal has been doing lately. He's a sheriff. <laughs> He has. He's he a did a movie called I don't remember what, exactly the name, but it had Sniper in the name. It was something Sniper, and when I tell you, it's it, he's co-starred by Rob Van Dam, and yes, it is. 
it's Seagal playing a sniper, and half the movie is him sitting in a chair in a room. Because he can't and it's, get up it's, anymore. It's, uh, it, it is like one of the worst things I've ever seen. But because I wouldn't have that laugh that I had watching that movie without that, I would go I would go for that. Out for justice it <laughs> Out is, for justice. Man. Yep. All right. What, okay. What's next on the agenda? Here? I want to say screw you for doing this as well. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> Lethal Weapon Lethal 3, Lethal Weapon right? 3 versus The Substitute. Okay. The substitute is great, dude. <laughs> like Tom Berenger is Tom Berenger was awesome in this movie. Like, okay, yeah. like this is one of those movies that was like this is why I respect the teachers in school. Little little you little know. lower budget. I think it might have been like one of those like direct to like HBO type no, movies. I, I, it, no, the sequels. Yeah, the, the sequels, sequels were, were that direct. way. The sequels yeah. were the original, well, by those time. By that time, it was like direct to like DVD, like because DVD was just coming, you know. Like, but the substitute, I'm almost pos- positive had a theatrical. Yeah, release. like like the synopsis was like the a regular uh, teacher uh, got her knee broken in an inner city Miami school, and they hired the substitute, and then he tries to put his foot down in class, and like the select few people decided like this is our school and this is our neighborhood and you're not going to do anything and it turns into some pretty chaotic stuff i mean yeah. that was a well-organized he's, gang because he's it's he's a, a, he's, an ex, he's an ex minds seal, went right? the other way he's, yeah. he's like, an ex-seal right like yeah. that's yeah so he's an ex-seal and then like in it's the whole because it's in florida and the whole um the gay like there's like a gang like obviously outside but then they have like the but they were well organized for and they're in the school and and, and Winston uh, Zedmore is the principal. Yeah, and he yeah. <laughs> um, and then what's uh, who? Uh, what, uh, I have a right this here. this the singer the one he was married to Jennifer Lopez. Mark Anthony. Yes, Mark, Mark Anthony, Mark Anthony, yes, Anthony yes, Mark was Anthony. Uh, was the main. Uh, like he's acting in it. Yeah, he's acting in it. He's <laughs> like the you main. Got a, you got a young he's Mark the main, Anthony. He's huh? the main bad guy student. Yeah. Like oh, okay, he's like right, about yeah. like there's the guys outside the school there's the uh, like that are like the higher up gang guys there's the gang inside the school and then all this st- in and all and, uh, okay. and who, and, who and else then, is in this movie Garrett it's Tom Berenger well William Forsythe's in this one too he is in that <laughs> he is in that <laughs> and Lewis uh, uh, a very early Lewis Guzman's in this too. yeah yeah he's uh, um yeah because yeah William Forsythe he's the most um. Um, detached member of the ex yes of the ex yeah like he's literally trying to like call like he's literally doing like a rain dance yep. in the movie. yeah like it's <laughs> it's great um but then there's lethal weapon three which is it builds on two other franchise or two other movies in the franchise you the, know the thing uh, i love about lethal weapon three they, is you have Mel go, they all go down in order for me like I, I, just, I like three better than two, actually. No, yeah, I do, I do too. I, I like three better. Yeah, than two. no. For me, it's like it's it goes one, two, three, and four. Because you know, I so. like how three kind of reinvented the Martin Riggs character and like started to reinvent him, and then they built upon that with four by having him completely domesticated. Mm-hmm. Like you, with three, you had the introduction of Rene Russo's character in it to actually have a true love interest for Riggs that doesn't get shot after he bangs her in a, a trailer <laughs> by her employers, which somehow he doesn't and, get killed. Yeah, and not, like, and it, not just, it's like, she wasn't also like the damsel in distress. And it was like, Rene Russo. She, like, Rene Russo she was, is such an underrated yeah, she, like, actress. She beats up a room full of guys. Yeah. yeah. Of, of henchmen. You know what I mean? That's and, Thor's like, mom for you, Casey. Mur- Murtaugh. Murtaugh is like kind of bad. I'm not gonna lie, <laughs> you know. Um, yeah, I don't. I don't want any any part of. Choosing so Garrett, this. you can go first. No, I don't want any part of choosing this because I love the substitute. And then like, and but then Lethal Weapon Three is. It sounds is, like you just made your decision, though. You know what? Screw it. I'm going substitute over Lethal Weapon Three. Wow. So Kate, I do. Kate, it's the, so it's because Casey, it's, my ego next. it's my again. Lethal, we're, Lethal we're, coming, going Lethal we're coming back to this. Trav, it comes down to you, Travis. <laughs> we're, we're, what, did you, what did you pick? Lethal, Lethal weapon. weapon. We're coming. We're coming back to this. It's like if we were yeah. talking two or one, like we would be having a whole different discussion. But for me, it's my third favorite Lethal Weapon. Right. Versus, you know, I don't actually. It might not hit four. My I kind of like four. My, I, even like four, I like four three. better than three. Wow. I, I agree, Chris. Rock, like I think four was. They had a nice little the, kind of little reboot the, to the franchise. The, and uh, dropped the ball. The the the, the, Travis, the laughing gas scene. I like so funny. The substitute in this one. 
All right. Uh, this is a tough, tough choice, but I do like the substitute. Substitute moves, moves on. Wow. No gamble I can't on that believe one. See, yeah. here's, the th- here's the thing. I'm not too. I didn't think that the substitute was actually going to win, but you know, if, it, it, if I we think... look on though, does it matter? Yeah, does no. it really? Matter? <laughs> no, it's not. Say, it's like, not uh, going past this round. The, it doesn't. Sometimes they get past. Some it, we, it we've happens. had some underdogs that have gone. So now that's the end of round one, and now, so now we don't have to really explain most the movies because I feel like the ones that got the the buy the first round really. Oh, we'll don't. have to explain eight movies, right? So. Well, I feel like none of them, besides Under Siege, really don't need to be no. really explained. They're all everybody knows. I feel them. like a lot Casey of people Ryback. might not know what Boondock Saints is. Yeah, some people might not know that one. That was a great cult classic. Some people haven't seen that. It's it's kind of a culty movie. If if they have best movies ever made. If they haven't seen Boondocks. Yeah, me and my brother got matching necklaces after that movie, you know? I I was, being one of my buddies, Tracy, we were the Boondock Saints one year for... Halloween. Oh, awesome. it's such Black an awesome Saints, movie. It's uh, Norman Reedus. Yeah. Right? Yes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And Sean Patrick Flannery. Yeah. Yes. Badass. Uh-huh. So we're going to do uh, Executive Decision versus Under Siege is what we're starting off round two with. Seagal versus Seagal. So uh, look, most of these have gone the way I kind of thought they would There's go. There's a couple that aren't. What? Under Siege for me personally. It. It is under good, siege. Good pick, Casey. It, yeah. it, it's okay. Like the bad, just the bad, just the the bad guy set up alone. Yeah, you know under, under I mean? siege is Tommy, my favorite Seagal movie. Tommy Lee Jones, like wearing like a leather jacket and a bandana. He's a like, terrorist. Sunglasses, posing as a, as a rocker. Um, uh, what's uh, what's his name? With the Gary Busey. The, Gary, thank you, Gary Busey, hey, Gary. as the guy in the shit. <laughs> How you like? I know you, you you like knew the movie, but the fact that that, that was his like, sign yeah. language symbol for Gary Busey, yeah. which honestly makes sense now. Yeah. But yeah. like, um, and then, uh, oh god, I can't remember his name, but obviously he was he was in. Carrot's unraveling right now. I am. Uh, he was in uh, Next Generation and Deep Space Nine. Um, he, the transporter dude. Uh, oh yes, uh, O'Brien is uh, the yeah, character. Yeah, in Col- is it Colm something? No? Yeah, Colin something. Colin, yeah, and uh, it, um, you know, them as the three main as the three main bad guys, you know, versus you know. I just like how the movie. Back, I just sure, like how the know. movie builds. Yes, yeah. and, and like, they take they take. He's uh, the cook. Yeah, like, yeah. He's the, you he's have the cook a cook who's character. a Navy SEAL who's yeah. like riding out his career in the Navy. Colum Meany is, is Colin. Yeah, yeah. Colum. Yeah, Casey Ryback. You know, he's using throwing knives to right. yeah. as a chef's knife. Yeah, they're like, it's the cook. How? What? What is he doing? And then like, and then yeah, and they find out he's like a former Navy SEAL. Now. They get clearance uh. to land. They get clearance to land a helicopter. On a carrier. Yeah. Yeah. And they're all bad guys posing as rock stars. Right. Yeah. And I, I do like the movie. Yeah. It's so, definitely better. So Casey picked it's, Under it's Siege. It's way more entertaining. What? This, like, no, executive, executive decision is one of those more suspenseful. Like, good. Like, action because, scenes like, are boring. The good guys are, the yeah. What movie was it where he says that line? He's like, he's like I'm going to take you to the bank, Senator something. The Above the law. Bank. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> that's like one of the best. Yeah. That's what <laughs> I love this. Yeah. yeah. So, um, so under siege moves under on. Under siege, yeah. Uh, but under siege is way, way more. So um, now we entertaining. Have, oh, one hundred percent. Now we have The Rock, oh, not I fucking the actor. Love that versus movie. Versus Leon, the professional. Okay. Like, <laughs> it's The Rock. Okay. If you've never First seen up, this, you have Rock, to watch this movie. It's, it's literally it's, it's Nicholas Cage, Cage and, and a retired sh- James Bond. Yeah, is what yeah, it yeah. Is. it's, it's, Sean, it's Connery. Sean Connery playing yeah. James Bond. It's literally like if if you're like, well, why is he did a, you know, it, it he's most likely James Bond in this movie. Right. He, but Nick, let's talk about how the movie starts. You 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 have Nicholas Cage as an FBI um Bomb dismantler, right? Or a chemical yeah. warfare yeah, expert? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's, a, and he's, a chem- he's a chemist. They have something come in, right? And it sets the stage for the rest of the movie. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So they get this doll, and they're like, okay, oh, shit, this is this is hot. And then, the, you know, everything happens, and they're dismembering it or dismantling this bomb. It's posed as a doll that's going to release um, a chemical agent, and the chemical agent that starts to get released is starting to melt their fucking suits. Right. And so they're like, this is not a drill. And they literally come down to this like seconds of of uh, undoing this bomb from going off, and the tension's high, and you're like, "Holy shit, this movie's set for it's set the pace." Mm-hmm. 
and you know later on you know we gotta find you know James Bond. Yeah, and then you hear yeah. and then, and the then, chemistry because, between Connery and Cage in this movie is such good chemistry. This is right. before Nicolas Cage was too much Nicolas Cage, right? right. And yeah. Ed Harris playing the villain in this is yeah. Amazing. And there's so many like the, the guys cast that is unreal. Under, yeah, yeah, the guys that serve under him are like most of them were were became like decent. Like well known oh, people as well. I love the Humvee in, chase scene in, in this. Ton of stuff, you know. Uh, like he takes out a telephone pole, right? Yeah. yeah now, the, now, Casey, yeah. why is this movie called The Rock? Couldn't tell you. Alcatraz. That's the that's they, a nickname for Alcatraz. That's a nickname oh. for Alcatraz. <laughs> you just told me that. I didn't know. <laughs> I, I know um, all about Alcatraz. Uh, Except it, that it's called The Rock. I knew. Well, I didn't know it was set in Alcatraz, but. So yeah, but it's it's a pretty intense movie, especially towards the end when you've got one rogue Navy SEAL team trying to get money to all of his fallen soldiers and their families, you know, pinned down by another SEAL team, and they don't want to give the order. They don't want to hurt each other, but ultimately, you know, they're standing true to their mission, and they do fire upon each other. And that yeah. was that yeah, was a pretty... Ed, Ed Harris and his direct yes. don't actually want to... They don't want to do it. But, but then they, the other guys are like, the second we did this, we became mercenaries. Right. And then, yeah. and then, and then that, they're against each other. I, I think that so was like good. one of those parts of the movie where you're just like, oh man, I can totally relate to this guy's cause. Yeah, but now then, you can relate to his cause. But then you're like, well dude, even though you guys have chose that path, you're still brothers in arms yeah. in a way. It's just like, that, that scene just always like sat with me, you know? Yeah. It's... That's probably the best scene in the movie. I, in yeah. all reality, like that's probably. Well, I don't know. The, I, I like the one where the he. Scene. I like the one where he's outside and he like holds up the flares to let him know well, that the, the, the agents are the done. Shot. Yeah, that's you the shot. I mean? He's yeah. still, he still got the syringe yeah. in his chest. Yeah. You know oh, what I mean? Oh wow! Oh, yeah, it's. Um, if you have not seen this movie, you have to. Dude, watch I can't this believe movie. you haven't seen The Rock. Like that. I haven't seen it. No. That's. Oh I, my but here's God. my thing. Though. Here's my thing. I love Nick Cage. So that's another. This is a movie. This is one of his best. This is one of his best movies. Probably one of the best movies on that list. I like Nick. Cage, the more goofy he got, though. Like, like, I like Ghost Wick, Rider. Wicker Man, yeah, but, Nick Cage. Oh, I, that's what Wicker I, Man I like. was one of the worst movies I've <laughs> I ever love seen. The, listen, if you can't watch that movie and and not like if you could watch it straight face, not laugh when he's wearing a bear suit and punches a woman in the face, <laughs> it is the funniest thing I've ever seen. I, in I my do life. like Wicker Man actually. I love that movie. I hated it. I, do, I really <laughs> did. So the Rock moves on. The Rock moves on. Got but, you. Uh, he, he this he start there's some stuff he does uh, where he's he amps himself up like when he's playing the guitar because he took the rest of the day off after that scene yeah and he's just like you know yeah, he's like his like, eyes get all big and you know um, but yeah it's it, it, yeah you have to watch yeah that. yeah yeah and up next we have Mission Impossible Ethan Hawke. Air Force One. You did this on purpose, too, didn't yeah. you? Yeah. <laughs> Just in case that one went on. Of wow, course it was I really to. am excited for the new Air Force One movie coming out next summer. I've been waiting for it all all year. The, the One okay. of the best action movie series of all time. What? Said no one ever. Because <laughs> Mission <laughs> yeah. Impossible. Yeah, because Mission right. Impossible. But that, that, like, I, I understand what, what where you're going with that. But. Yeah. But Air Force One, like that, it didn't need a sequel. Like that, that was a movie, a standalone movie. It was a great action movie. Mission Impossible, the first Mission Impossible. What I liked the most about it was it was in vain. So I obviously didn't watch the original Mission Impossible show on in the sixties. Right. The right. one in the eighties that ran for two seasons. I remember as a kid watching on Friday nights with my my father, and this movie felt. Like it wasn't like so impossible this time, right? It was doable, and it just like, it, as the sequels went on, they got a little more like the window kept shortening and getting tighter and tighter. Like there's no mistake, and and like the the I thought the great thing was how they tied the original series, the original two series, into this movie with uh, uh, Angelina Jolie's dad. What's his name? John Voight. Yeah, with John Voight playing that the, the character from the original one and how this like truly felt like the TV series. And I'm glad the the movies went in the direction they went. Like yeah. they, they very much took the Fast and Furious route of like Do you know how they make the everything. new ones now? He just does the, all his stunts cuz he's a psychopath? No, they the way they do it, they go into shooting without a script. 
And Tom Cruise just tells them what's going on. No, the director is crazy. The director of the new ones is crazy. They basically they'll do stunts and stuff. They'll write around the stunts and then say Tom's like, "Oh, it would make more sense if you know now this guy became a bad guy." Then they write that script in, and it just yeah. goes until they they've all been really and they good. all end up super amazing. And yeah. It's kind of remarkable. But, but the beautiful thing about the original is not the over the top action about mm-hmm. it. It's what the story is. Like the story, it, it's a true it's espionage the story, yeah. story. Of, and yeah. like it was Tom Cruise before he was jumping on couches and everything. It yeah, was yeah. Tom Cruise. <laughs> well, I mean, if you're a 40 year old guy banging a girl that just came off Dawson's Creek show, yeah. you know, <laughs> you're going to jump on the couch yeah, too. Well, yeah. is she like 22 at the yeah, time? Yeah. So, uh, and Casey's going. He said Air Force One a lot, so no, I no, <laughs> yeah, you, you did say Air Force Mission One a Imp- lot. I can go on record saying Mission Impossible is like probably my favorite action series ever. Well, uh, like solid. I'm going to call Kevin Feige and let him know that. Yeah, that's 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 that, a different, that's different. That's not even. A, I'm, yeah. I'm going to oppose that. You know, I as as much as I like it, I think yes, the I plot's okay. To pick. I like that the plot is like, you know, um, I'm sorry, the action sequences are better in Mission Impossible, but I like the plot of Air Force One better. Okay. You know, having a president that's a former badass, which is like what I'd like to see in the future, instead of like a man who's falling down stairs and other stupid shit he says. And But needless to say, we don't get into politics. Yeah, Garrett, but, bite your tongue right now. Bite your tongue. <laughs> we don't. Just bite it. Garrett, Garrett can get I, a little I'm going to go Air call. Force One. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I didn't say anything. I know you didn't say anything. That's what I was hoping. <laughs> so, Gary, it comes down to you. Air Force One versus Mission Impossible. It's Mission Impossible for me. Oh. Yeah. Right. It's not even, it's like gut instinct. It's like, if it, it, when when it really comes down to it, when it gets something, gets hard to decide, we go for that, that gut feeling of which one am I going to watch first. Right. And I would watch Mission Impossible before yeah. I watched Air Force now One. Now I feel old. Although, <laughs> that all being said, Mission Impossible One is probably my least favorite of... Of All the of series. Well, no, Mission Impossible One's better than three, but whoa, that's my opinion. No, uh, one, no, one is my one is, I think the best one. See, like I, one, I like one and one, three. It's one and three are like I loved three. I thought three. I didn't was, like three when I first watched it, but now I love it. And three set up everything that came up after. Yes. The only good thing two I is my say, least favorite. The, Hands the, the only thing I had, the only like good it. thing about two for me, like John Woo d- did a good job, like yeah. and kind of rebooted a good action movie, sure. But Limp Bizkit doing the theme song for for Mission Impossible for two was the the highlight of that. I remember getting that in Guitar Magazine and learned how to play that one, good, like that, yeah. like that album, like Mission Impossible two. Like uh, what was his uh, the guitarist name? Uh, wasn't it West West Borland? Borland. Yeah, West yeah. Borland. Yeah. yeah. All right, so now we come down to True Lies versus Broken Arrow. True lies. True lies. True lies. <laughs> yeah. Okay. I, I, I thought I was gonna have to put the gavel down there. Yeah. No. no it's it's true. like I don't want it to. I don't want. I, it, I, I don't want it to be over Broken Arrow, but it is over Broken Arrow. I you know wanted I mean? a like, sequel to that movie. The fact that we never got a sequel. To that I wanted. A, oh, I wanted a sequel crazy. to the Jimmy Lee Curtis. Strip tease. <laughs> like uh, that was another spot in my youth that uh, the VHS wore out. Like Jamie Lee Curtis. Wow. You got to think this was the nineties. Yeah. She was also Lori. She looked Stro- great. She, was she looked great. She did. She was oh no, she did. She was a, I, she was I, you a don't fox hear that. Her. You don't hear that that often. That's the that's But what was great was how was how they threw you off where you weren't ever expecting that in the movie. Yeah, she, yeah. she played like a nerdy her, her, office. She's, her glasses are thick. Yep. She's got the office clothes, like the yeah. 90s frumpy office clothes. Right. Yeah. Not like, you know, today's chic office clothes. You know, her hair is like kind of a mess. Yeah. And then by, you know, that time she's a complete you know, transformation. Good, yeah. You know, it's complete the, transformation. Her right. hair, her hair is like dark and slick and and she does you and, know the whole thing. That, that movie, like she like thinks her husband's just this loser. This giant dork in Dork loser. that works sells paper or something. And, and you know? that, the truth serum scene. Oh, oh yeah. it's so Alone. funny. You kill people? Yeah, but they were all bad. Yeah. Like you know yeah. what I mean? Like and like, like the way in the way he says it. Like he, I feel like people think that like Arnold's just this big time like um, doofus. Yeah, you know, like just big. But he's actually a really good he's awesome. actor. Yeah. yeah. But I don't care what people say. Like that scene, the true serum scene where he where he yells Let's... at um uh 
I gotta play Apollo Creed uh, in 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 Predator, yeah. where he yells at him, at, where he yells at Dylan. Right. It's like that's a really good scene where he's like, "You threw the rest of us to the meat grinder." Like the way he sells and says that line. Do you watch like, that zombie great. movie he made when he first came out of office? Yes. Well, like a zombie movie? Yeah. So hit. So oh like, oh um Maggie. Maggie. I yes. know. Ne- I still have not seen Maggie. So like. He shows because it's, not, cause it's, it's his daughter who slowly turns so, into a zombie. Yeah, I don't want so, that. Yeah. Sound, I, I don't know so, if I can handle no, it. Yeah. Like, I don't even. It's like, a zombie I have kids, but not a daughter. Yep. I don't know if I can handle and it. And his yeah. daughter gets bad. I don't know. And what year was this? Uh, maybe it's like, right out the gate. I've never heard this. It's right out the gate. I still like. I purposely had. What's it? 2012. I'm looking right now. Um, like it. It is one of his like because it's not an action movie. Like it's no. That's crazy. And it, he gives such. An amazing performance. I feel like it's. He did such... a really good job in his last Terminator movie too. Like he, like I loved the I machine loved learned a little sympathy. Yeah, yeah. the T eight hundred. Like it, it blew my mind. It was a good turn. Oh, that it was so a good turn on that. I don't know. Like I'm still have a hard time with. 2015. Okay. Dark, yep. dark yeah. I gotta look that up. I don't know. Yeah. I don't. Yeah. I can't believe it. I've never heard of that. But like um, with True Lies, Tom Arnold, Tom absolutely Arnold, so comedic good. genius. So good. And my favorite thing is, is like his wife thinks she's just met a, so, a spy, but he's just a car salesman. Right. So the and guy she, that she thinks. And she's is, so like attracted and everything. Yeah, yeah, so she's, she's, yeah, she, he's the actual loser. She doesn't right? know how yeah. she feels about it yet. And so. Um, and then her husband's the actual he, spy. It's I, so love it where, I love it where he goes to test drive the car. He goes and test drives mm-hmm. an old Corvette. Yes, and he's like, and they have that breakaway where reality. He, th- you think that he like knocks this guy out and kills gives him, him a bloody yeah. nose and kills yeah. him in the car, just about. And then all of a sudden he snaps back and he drives this thing into the Bill parking Max lot. Still like, laughing, yeah, yeah. Oh, and then they scoop him up later after they blow the side out of mm-hmm. his trailer, Make take him, him over to the dam, piss his pants. Yeah. Tom Arnold's like, "All right, you're not a spy." He shoots at his feet. <laughs> get lost again. <laughs> get, get lost again. He just fires at his feet without looking. So great. Oh, hey, side I love note, that movie. The hardest Super Nintendo game I ever played. True was, Lies was the True Lies. At, oh. at I don't even remember it being a game. Oh, dude, it was so that. hard. Yeah, like I couldn't get past the second level. The first level was the the snow scene, which I it was one of great scene. And then the second scene is the mall scene, and I couldn't beat the mall scene. I literally spent years trying to beat it. And if you look online, the people talk about how hard in like level two. Yeah, level two isn't there. Wow. Game. Yeah, I don't even remember it being a game. That's crazy. I just like part of the movie where he decides he's going to jump a horse from one skyscraper into the pool to the next. Oh guy. yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So then we have Desperado versus Boondock Saints. Oh, God. I Desperado. Hate you, no way. I hate you, Joe. So Casey's going Desperado. Trav's going Boondock Saints. Boondock Saints. Boondock all Saints. The way. Garrett. It's, Garrett. Whoa. It's Boondock. It's got it. Okay. I feel bad. But it has to be Boondock Saints. It has right? to be. Like, Boondock Saints is one of the best, I think. It's like borderline cult. Movie. It came out you know, in an it era. Is, it is a. It, it, yeah, it's it flat came out, out in an movie. era, yeah, and you know. Second. I'll be right back. Yeah. So nobody knew like the cast, the plot, anything, and you watch it, it and you're like, drops on DVD. Holy shit! You got to go see the Boondocks. It's awesome. Yeah. It's about two brothers. They kill two um, Russian mobsters, Russian. Yeah. and then there's blowback, and then they're like, okay, now let's just start taking out. All the bad guys. Yeah. And then they come to find out their father. Yeah. Was like the same way. It was the same way. Yeah. yeah. And so, so the he, all... was, he was he was in the game. Yeah. And wiped out every. You remember the scene yeah. where they're getting in the yeah. shootout and they're dumping ammonia. Yeah. All over everything. And my brother says to me eerily because he's like super smart. He's like the reason why they use ammonia versus bleach at denature's DNA. I'm like, okay, that's a little strange, but yeah, yeah it makes sense. <laughs> you, like, you move your chair over a little bit, you're like, <laughs> yeah, you, I'm going to sleep with an extra lock if, on my if door If Mike tonight. was here, Mike, I, if I am thinking correctly, I'm, I'm pretty sure Mike loves he loved, We've talked about yeah. the not saying. Yeah, he, yeah, that right. came right we've out. Watched it, we've watched it so, together 
Probably five times. I think that movie. (laughs) So that movie came out right at the very end of that '90s action era. So it didn't get the publicity. No, it didn't have the right to DVD. Yeah, it didn't have the cast. It didn't have the advertising. It's become such a it it, it, it became such. So here's here's the like the interesting part of it, right? So it it this debuts in the theaters, right? Yeah, absolutely. Because in the first one, didn't it was a it was an under for. This doesn't debut in the theater; it goes straight to DVD. Right. But the second one debuts in theaters because of how big how the big cult it was, following yeah. was, and and it and it you know it also did you know pretty. I don't, you got to think well. they got a yeah. big a big bump, probably from uh, well, Walking Dead uh, success. I'd, right. I'd yeah, imagine. Yeah, right. Everyone's like, yep. oh, Norman yeah. Reedus. Norman Reedus. Yeah. So yeah. to me, I think Boondocks, Boondocks. was the better movie, Boondocks. more actions. Yeah. Like, put yourself in those shoes, like. All of a sudden, if if you decided to go shoot up a bunch of bad guys and take them out, how hard do you think a police department's actually going to look in your way, your direction? Right. They're like, hey, listen, we're not going to look into it too hard. They're yeah. kind of doing yeah. it. And they're, they're cleaning not, up neighborhoods. Right. And not even just the not even the brothers going in and doing that part, but yeah. the cops and the FBI agent. Who call who eventually? End up, who end yes. up a long Willem ride Defoe. for yes. all of it? And, and Willem mm-hmm. Dafoe's character is one of the best characters. In any movie ever. When he does that, yeah. You, you know what I mean? The, the you guys way might have just spun me on this one it, here. It, oh, you God, know what yeah. I mean? It's yeah. it's it, he you know, the way the way he figures scenes out, the everything, but then like the way his personal life bleeds into oh, into dude. it when he's slapping the dude after they do it. Oh my god. Yeah. Like it's so there's there's parts of it. That, I don't even and then know how. Best friend. How did yeah? How did they even land Willem Dafoe? They're yeah. like, hey, you're a big name actor. We just need you to do like this like backup part. And he was just like the script. And he is steals so awesome. He steals yeah. every scene he's in. Everything. Yeah. He is such a good actor. Oh, it's huh. Boon, it's Boondock Saints. I think I'm gonna. It's, yeah, you know what? I think I'm I'm gonna switch on. <laughs> Joe, we just went. You, we just turned him and went it. unanimous on Boondock Saints over Desperado. Oh wow! How the did that happen? The points you're making are very because because it's because it's Boondock Saints, dude. It's like yeah. it's it's funny. It's 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 oh god, it's good. It's no, just it's good. Okay. Yeah. I'm not gonna overvote that. Yeah. So now we have <laughs> Rush Hour versus Die Hard. Oh. Rush Hour versus Die Hard. Two. I loved Rush Hour. <laughs> You know, when that first, first came out, I don't oh, think you're gonna movie. like my answer. The for this first one. rush hour over Die Hard Two. Okay, so it's all right. I'm still going Die Hard Two. Okay. All right, I got the I got the rundown on this I'm one. Not. All right. I'm still going Die Hard. <laughs> so we got one rush hour, one Die I Hard love Two, rush and hour. Travis is going to give us a rundown on rush hour. All right, I remember the the when I first watched this movie, uh, Chris Tucker was just coming off his Fridays. Um, yes. Friday. Um, Acting role, and he, he was the fuck out. He he was he was a, he was an upcoming hot actor there. Um, so you have a Chinese diplomat's daughter who's kidnapped in Los Angeles. And I remember watching the scene, going, "She's getting kidnapped," and then she gets kidnapped, and you're like, "I called it." <laughs> you felt really cool about yourself. Um, <laughs> so they call in, you know, um, their inspector, who played by Jackie Chan, who does all of his own stunts. Has a huge following in China. I mean, just massive following mm-hmm. in China. Probably more so than Bruce Lee even. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And and then he, I think, was it this movie? No, it wasn't. It was Rumble in the Bronx that put him right. on the map yep. in, in America. In America. Yeah. Yeah. So everybody was like, we got to see this guy. Plus, he's just, just a lovable dude. Yeah. He's, he's just a great dude. Got to put this badass along with this. I understand the woods co- coming out your <laughs> mouth. Comedic genius. And so... The FBI doesn't want anything to do with the case, and they dump him off to a Los Angeles police officer played by Chris Tucker. Chris Tucker. And he was absolutely hilarious. And not like a complete knockoff of Alex Foley from... Axel. Yeah, he wasn't... Ac- or, yeah. Yeah. And um, from... Beverly Hills Cop. Yes, there we go. And so, basically, he's... They're saying, all right, if you help us with this case, and he's kind of like the laughing stock of their police department at right. the time. And so they're like, you just keep him busy while we do the real police work. Right. And eventually, these two team up and do the real police work right. and outsource the FBI and anyone else who's involved. And it's done in an action-packed, funny, 
way. It's right. it's, it's really. I love Rush Hour, and we're getting yeah. another one, and we're getting another one. Yep. Yeah. I so I I, I kind of have a tendency to think where this one's going. I know it's probably going to be a split decision here. So far, it's split. He's Rush Hour. I'm Die Hard. Oh, Trev, I'd still rather Trev's watch. obviously Rush Hour. I, I'm, right I'm going Rush Hour on this yeah. one. You know, I mean, <laughs> as much as I love the Die Hard series, if it was Die Hard one, I, I'd be in. But I'm gonna go Rush Hour on that one. I just think that oh, it was a better, better movie to watch. And now we have it's Speed. <laughs> speed. <laughs> Yeah. Speed against out for justice. I think so. I think so. Yeah. I don't think that's really. There's no way you're there's, gonna go out for justice. No, over speed. There, there's not. Okay. Yes. <laughs> okay. Speed was great. Speed is just. It's so good. You want to give us a rundown on that, or do we have? To, everyone knows. Speed. Everybody's seen everyone that. Seen like speed. Sandra Bullock. Even Casey seen Speed. Love speed. No. Speed's such a good movie. <laughs> um. Yeah. I mean, it's just. You know. Keanu Reeves is. A, Pretty much stuck on a bus. He's a detective, like, right? He's stuck on a bus. What, like more than half the movie? I think yes. Is, is he they can't drop under fifty miles an hour. Yeah. Behind the scenes, they were both uh, apparently in, in love with each other. But they we're didn't afraid. I think they, they still are. Yeah, they didn't say a yeah. word about it. Didn't say a thing yeah. to each other. That's crazy. Yeah. They did Lake House, which is a fantastic movie. Yeah. Was that the one where they write and they go back? Yeah. yeah. And the, it, the the mailbox yeah. like yeah. is a time is like capsule, a time, yeah. Yeah. time portal. And yeah. think about it, you got Jeff Jeff Daniels. In it as and, his um, partner, yeah. yes, and then Jeff you have King Koopa as the bad yeah. guy. Yeah, <laughs> like it's. It, is, is that the second <laughs> Super Mario? Yeah, that's the second movie. Made. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. The Since we're talking about John Leguizamo, like, yeah. But oh, yeah. I, I feel like you guys made the right choice there. And it's, now, and Bad Boys versus Substance, it's Bad Boys. Bad Boys. Yeah, without it's a doubt, ba- it, it's Bad Boys. Bad Boys is is just <laughs> unbelievably. Well, I just I Fashion didn't attack. have to use my overrule today, guys. Was we got oh, it right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. I didn't yeah. have to overrule anything. Yeah, aren't bad boys are getting another one too. Does aren't that they? mean they're supposed to? But yeah. with uh, the controversy against uh, oh. Mr. William Smith, um, I think it's been delayed a little bit. The, the, does that mean it carries over to another one? Do you get to do two? No, no. You just get no, one per just one, okay. one per show. Under Siege versus The Rock. The Rock. The Rock. <laughs> You well, lost anyway. You already lost. <laughs> yeah. You already lost. Right. <laughs> All right. Now, Mission, Mission Impossible oh. versus True Lies. Yeah, Mission Ooh. Impossible. Ooh. I'm going to go True Lies. Oh. Ah. A split decision. I love doing this to Garrett. <laughs> oh. Here, let's do a, a, a solo to Garrett's hands in his face. Oh, no. Mission Impossible. Yes. No. Wow. I, I, I really wish I had my overruler. Right yeah. I, I. You know what? We ought to do that until it's the final. Well, the, you can still use it because it's into the. You're, we're not into the final four. Oh, True Lies. Then. No. <laughs> you guys just you can't, you can't use it you, past you, here. Okay. Garrett, what have you That's done? You what have you done? Me, we had is, it. You, you just gave me more. You just gave me more power. I love it. All right. True Lies. True Lies. You had it. Overall, true lies. You threw. You Boon threw. Not Saints versus Rush Hour. Well, no, that's. But it's his. his he's yeah. the host. It's his. His yeah, format. I like his it. rules. This is it's my world. It's my world, and we're in it. <laughs> I've got four kids. Uh, I'm gonna go Rush Hour over Rush Boondock hour. Saints Hell because yeah. it's a, you can. You can. It's like a family film versus like just straight out badassness. I go. I go Boondock. Wow. Casey. No, I go Rush Hour. Wow. Oh. <laughs> And you used it. You used it. I, I don't. I don't feel bad for anything I did. No, oh, true lies. Son of a shit, bitch. Oh God. Rush oh. Hour One isn't even my favorite Rush oh. Hour movie. Speed, Speed versus Bad Boys. I did this I good. Oh wait. <laughs> Who wants to go first? Uh, I don't want to go at all. I. I'll go. Uh, I'll make this easy. Garrett's it won't be easy. Just pick one, Travis picks the other, and then you stick Garrett because he's not making no. a decision. It's speed. Bad boys. <laughs> <laughs> I love my life. <laughs> I hate all of you. And you've got to write it down. Oh. <laughs> I don't want to make this decision. The only issue I have with the Bad Boys series is the last one should not have been called Bad Boys for Life. That should have been the fourth one. Right. Yeah. Yes. Bad Boys for Life. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, it wasn't the. This is the third one. 
They, they totally kidding. dropped the ball on that. You're kidding. No. No, nah, they just, screwed just, up. Just I thought this three. whole time that it was the fourth one. No, it's the third one. Third. Yeah, they dropped uh, the ball on that. It was like 20 years in between sequels. Yeah, yeah it was. That, that bad bothers me. That actually bothers me. Wow. Bamboozled. Yeah, then yeah I don't feel, I don't no, feel we, bad we had a whole We had a whole speed, discussion then. about it, yeah. how we were pissed. Yeah. That they call it Bad Boys for Life when it was like... I don't feel bad for It should just been Bad Boys 3. So what's the next one going to be? Bad Boys for Life 4? Like, what? Like... Yeah, bad boys four 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 life like. So Garrett, come on, bud, you gotta pick something. Now we'll make the A in bad a four. Yeah. Maybe they'll be bad men now because they're bad old. For the other bad grandpas. Yeah. Huh. Garrett, if you don't choose in the next ten seconds, Martin I'm Lawrence. taking your vote away from you and making it myself. Make it. All right, bad boys. All right. What? Yeah, because I didn't want to do it. No. Speed was a great movie, though. Speed was <sighs> fantastic. Speed was fantastic, but, but... Do you know why Bad Boys lost, or won, and Speed lost? No. Because of Speed 2 Cruise Control. <laughs> <laughs> All right. And Bad Boys 2 is awesome. If, well, at 100%. If, if Speed 2 would have had Keanu in it, we would be having a completely different discussion right now. Yeah, do, you think it, do you think if they handed in a different script, he would have done it? Maybe uh, he's not a big sequel guy. Besides, like the Matrix, like he like. Oh no, he's he, been trying to do Constantine he's, he's too. He's trying to do Constantine. I was okay, right. say, yeah. Okay, final. The four. Rock versus True Lies. So we have The Rock, True this Lies, sucks. Bad Boys, and I'm putting it out there first. The Rock. The Rock. Okay. They are better lost, movie. Casey. I w- I would have said True Lies as uh, Rock. As I, wow. Okay, so Rock. And we got Rush Hour versus Bad Boys. Casey's picking Rush, Rush Hour. Rush Hour. Bad Boys. Rush Hour. What? Ah, what? <laughs> wow. I, that, I That's got crazy. Bad Boys. So we got Rush Hour versus The Rock. I know what I would pick out of these two. Rock. Rush Rock. Hour. No. Yes. No. <laughs> no. The Rock wins 90s action part as it should. That movie yes. is Damn unbelievable. Damn you, Dwayne Johnson. Damn you. <laughs> he didn't do anything. <laughs> he wasn't even in it. He's the... <sighs> wow. Oh, so, that's upsetting. I, you know what? Like, I, I lost somewhere down so, here. To me, I look back, <laughs> and I, it doesn't matter who wins Rush Hour versus Bad Boys, because I think The Rock was always going to win. Yeah. Um, If I was sitting on the other side, I, I might have voted differently. Yeah. But I'm but, not. All right. But I'm not. That, that's it. That's that is our return <laughs> for this one. For moving movie on. Movie madness. Uh, yeah. And a special thanks to who, Travis? To me. <laughs> to me. <laughs> so if you need your back cracked, Stu cracks my back. Look at him. Go, go ahead. Of course, him up. of course he cracks. <laughs> like, <laughs> it's awesome. So, thanks for joining us, and uh, we will see you guys next week. Yeah, we'll be back. We're, I think we're gonna do '90s. Sci-fi. Sci-fi. Mandy Sci-fi. Sounds great. All right, guys. Thanks for joining us. Later.